You are now listening to the Beardy Bros Podcast. Whoa! Stretch it out. Someone redeemed a stretch. On my back. Someone redeemed <laughs> a hydrate. My drink's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I think that with that, are we ready, Jim? Die again. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, beardies and beardettes? Welcome back to another fine episode of the Beardy Bros Podcast. Woo-hoo. Let's oh, go! Like another week. It's, it's it always, fun, it always, man. every time, like it's always just like another week, another episode. It's just like, fuck. It would if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it never gets old, does it? Like honestly, Maybe one day. I don't know. I think people are getting tired of me saying it most probably, but like it never gets old. It never gets old. Like another week, <laughs> another week, another episode. We're here again, as always. Like fuck, it's so good, it's so good to just you know. <sighs> and I apologise for a low energy level if it ever ever happens. <laughs> Jim Jim's a little burnt out. He's had a big day. So I'm a bit done. <laughs> he's had a big day stream, so it it we'll see how this episode goes. It might be just a bit of a, you know, maybe a bit more low level, not so hyped. Who knows Crazy. yet? He's got his tea. I've got, I've got once again. I've got a Smithy cold beer. I'm not, this is my last one. I've had a few today, as you can kind of see over the side. Here. <laughs> also, um, ever made a peppermint tea and it's not like fucking cat piss? <laughs> cat piss? I didn't realize a cat not... piss not like mint. I no, like I made a tea for. St- for sauce early, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, I put a couple of peppermint tea bags in. Yeah. I put the water in it. It's not like cat piss. I'm like, huh. It smelled like <laughs> cat piss. Like, it's a freaking Twinings tea bag. Uh, like, if you ever get them. Tea isn't for Twinings. Tea is for cat piss. <laughs> not, no offense to Twinings. I just, it's apparently. Uh, it just I smelled can... like cat piss. I'm like, huh. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got, I'll have to check it next time. I do have, I think, a mint one there, a peppermint one there. I should just get one out just to boil it up and just to see what it smells like. Yeah, it smells smell like cat piss. It smells like cat piss. Or just piss in general, I don't fucking know. Cat but piss. like, it smells... Doesn't, it doesn't smell nice. Don't smell nice. It don't smell nice. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It tastes good though, but it's like... Like this, this has... This smells nothing, <laughs> really. Just like warm. Just it what smells like warm. <laughs> you know how got that warm smell, like <laughs> the heat. Yeah, you can smell like like the condensation. Yeah, like just the water or something like the. Yep, that's all that is. But like fucking the peppermint tea. Woo! She's pungent. A bit jittery there for a second. Yeah, you're all pixely on my end. That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Um, but, um, but but yeah. I was gonna say you've been playing um, some Saints Row lately. Uh, about two hours worth. Uh, only two hours. That's what you just started. You've only put a little bit in. I had fun. I got in a vehicle for the first time, and I was bouncing up and down on a fucking fire hydrant. That's, like, that's the time I came into your stream, and I was like, "What the hell's going on here?" Uh, you get yourself bogged it's up. Like, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I didn't even see it there. I just hit it, and I'm like, "Why the fuck am I flying?" Yeah, <laughs> and then it just died off. I'm like, "Oh, thank God, I can finally move again." <laughs> no, that that game uh, is fun though. Like, I did some yep. weird shit. I don't... Except for a console game, give a bit of aim assist. Yep, it's single player. Like it's like it's single player. Like. Yeah, like, give a bit of aim assist for someone on fucking sticks. Like, yeah. Ugh. Like, uh, multiplayer stuff, I can understand it being, feeling a bit, a bit, you know, ch- but when a single player, it's single player, why do you need that extra, you know, like, if people want to feel a little bit more confident, like, I don't see it like hurting. It, it was totally, like, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Yep. I'm like, I was trying to hit these people on a bike, I'm like, I need fucking aim assist, because I'm like, fucking, I'm like, I just couldn't fucking hit him. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's at the start, and, wasn't um, it? That's at the start of the game, was it? That mission where you Kind of, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very still and, um... I, like, I got a few things to say about that game. Like, fuck, and they're not all fucking good. <laughs> um, uh, I... 
Let's just say, it's a PS5 native game. Yep. The triggers don't work. There's no haptic vibrations, nothing. So it's like all... In the menu, it says trigger intensity and like trigger effect on. Nothing happened. So it's like it's it's saying it's there, but it doesn't do anything. I triggered... I turned the triggers on and my my character went inverted. (laughs) I was pressing up on the stick and it put me backwards. I was pressing down and it put me forwards. I'm like... Not the view, the character. Yeah, my character was... Yeah. I went to move on. I'm like, why the fuck can't I move on a train? Oh, I'm like, this fucking thing. I was trying to move forward, but my character was like running backwards. Off the, like, off the back. I mean, does it kind of sound like another cyberpunk? Nah. Oh, hell no. Fuck no. With with a few bugs and stuff it has. Not like that. No, this isn't game breaking. It's just like, what the fuck? (laughs) But, like, I just wanted the triggers to work because they're just normal yeah, triggers then. It's like, come on, man, I've been experiencing PS5 games with active triggers. Take advantage of it, like, yeah. Like, for shooting that, it just feels better when you got like, but that's maybe funny. it's a, not patch it or something. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know how the fucking toggle the triggers affected my invert <laughs> like it's a bit broken there but yeah putting it all this far apart on the fucking setting list and I didn't save it I I thought it saved but I didn't I did it again and it inverted me again that's how I, that's how I found out so I was like hmm that's wild I wish I would I should just tweet all these things and yeah. just Get them fucking out there, like <clears throat> that's just wild. That's fucking hilarious. I've heard no one talking about it, like that kind of thing. It's like, am I the only one who's had that fucking there's issue? Been, oh, there's been a lot. I've just been avoiding a lot of people saying good things and bad things because a lot of people have been doing fifty-fifty reports, like saying it's good, saying it's bad, and there's just shit everywhere for it, like everywhere. But I've just been avoiding it because I kind of don't want to really, like, I want to get it when I get it, and I want to play it and experience. Play it for yourself and experience, mm. like. If people are just bullshitting, if they're telling the truth, yeah. like... I don't know. I mean, I do say, like, it's not a 10 out of 10, like, fuck. Mm. It, it's a Saints... It's a, it's literally a Saints throw game. That's all it yeah. is. Like, when you go back, they're not the best fucking game. They're, they're, they're a crazy. mid-tier game anyway, like... Yeah. That's all Saints Row is. It's like, it's a mid-tier... You play it to have fun. Yep, that's exactly it. Like, it's not, it's not serious. You don't play it... You want a good fucking story. It's just... The sand, the sandbox. You got insurance fraud and all that to have fun with. Like, I oh, know there's so many people that are just expecting such a like a serious game out of it. It's like you clearly don't know what Saints Row is. Like, it's meant to be a fun <laughs> game, and it's like there have been some people I've have seen where people have been like mentioning these kinds of things. It's like you do know this is Saints Row, right? You you have played the other four games, like and how they went. Like, first two weren't crazy, but like they were still yeah. like that's all over the top. They weren't like. Number three, now we got the fucking dildos fucking whacking well, everyone with yeah, them. Yeah, well, and... say, let alone number four, where she became a superhero, super jumping and flying around everywhere, like... And the president. Like, yeah. You fall into the seat and become president. It's yeah. that fucking easy, apparently. Yeah. I'm there. I just don't get it, like... I... That's St. Troy. If you're a fan of the series, you can, you, you are going to like it. Like, well, yeah. Like, I was having fun. The, the fucking driving feels floaty, though. Like, it's airy. Well, that's what the, that's what the later, one, like, later ones felt like that, too. Like, if you actually played 4... Because once you played 4, you got to the point where you didn't, weren't really driving cars. Because you, you spend most of your time running and jumping and flying everywhere because you leveled yourself up. But when you go back to driving and stuff like that, you're like, <laughs> ha-ha, and, and you go driving, you're like, nyaw, nyaw, and, you're like, and it's the exact same thing. Like, it's very airy and floaty and you're all over the place. And it's just like, and they're very slow at the same time, though, because you're, like, very slow. So you're like, Burr, but you're like, you turn, you're like, Whoa! and it's just like, how does a car turn really fast, but you can't accelerate forwards fast, but it would turn like you were? Like, it, like... You would turn, but Thank somehow... Thankfully, it isn't like that, because yeah. that would be a pain in the ass. Because that's what it would be like. Like, you saw my driving, as like, I was ramming... Like, there's a fucking... If you just press X, like, square on that, you can, like, side swap, like... Oh, yeah, you the get cars the side, and shit. the thrust kind of like, side. Like, that's fucking side, dope. Yeah. 
you hit the cops out of the way in the other vehicles and obstacles. But no, it's, it's, just, like it, it's just weird. Like, I mean, the mechanics can be a bit strange, but that's what I mean. They're meant to be fun games. They weren't meant to be serious. Yeah, same throw. Like, don't take it serious. You, mm. you, 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 it's not meant to make sense either. Like, no. fuck. Like, that's why with the whole universe reboot, and they made that other game, which was Agents of Mayhem, which is canon, technically canon. Cause... That's more serious than what this, like, Saints Row, though. Like, that's... I mean, you're still super-powered, but, it like... Still a bit, it's it's wacky, like, it's a... But it's, like... It's still more serious than Saints Row. Mm. Like, you've got the element of, um... Not real realism, but it's more grounded. Yeah. Which isn't bad. Like, I played Angel Mayhem. I actually enjoyed it. Mm. It's fucking good. Like, I got it for nine bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people got it pretty cheap. I got a still book for nine bucks. Like, I pretty much paid just for the still book and got the game. Like, yeah. That's fine. I was like, this is dope. Paid it once. Didn't touch it again. But it is, it is cool. It's like Crackdown, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels like Crackdown, but same, yeah. But like a same throw Crackdown mix. That's exactly it. Which is pretty fucking cool. Which is good. So exactly, it felt familiar when you played it because it felt like you were playing mm. Crackdown. So it was familiar. Yeah, because you've been you like finding orbs and like mm. you're doing Crackdown. Like yeah. you jump around everywhere and get orbs. And you'd level up the same way, like your agent kind of thing. But then you had different agents you could play as. And yeah, like um, oh, well, I'm about to say you fucking Terry Crews. Because <laughs> of Crackdown three, and then that's what I mean. Then we had Crackdown three. <laughs> And it just felt so weak, and yet there was Agents of Mayhem, which was a different game, different company, and it felt better which, of an actual Crackdown game than what yeah. the actual Crackdown sequel was. It's just like, what? No one's no one's playing Crackdown 3, like, at I, all. I never bothered to finish it. Like, I finished 1 and 2, because I loved the hell out of those. Third game was just... It just this like one's it was still probably the best. Like, it's just so yeah. fucking good. It just felt like it was missing something. I just don't know what, but it just felt like it was missing something. Like, it just missed the mark. Like, were there too much Terry I, was, I don't know. It just... There wasn't enough, I don't think. Like, it was just... It just was weird. It's very weird. May hype that up so much. Oh, the... Oh, excuse me. The, um... The destructible fucking nature of it's like... Red Faction did it better. Yeah. That's, like, 20 years old. That's why I ended up buying that again for Xbox. Like, on the Xbox what, Red One. Red Faction? Yeah, Red Faction Gorilla, because just so I could destroy things again. Get the fucking hammer and just hammer everything. It was like, so fucking good. bring yeah. down towers. You level up fuck. max enough, and you just like, ha ha ha, and you just knock shit around. That's why I got it again, because I'm like, I kind of just want to play it again and see how it looks. That had mastered. the best fucking physics, like a kind of like a battlefield game. Like, mm. you can destroy fucking anything mm. and everything. In Crackdown, it's like, oh, it didn't feel satisfying. Yeah, it just wasn't the same of whatever it had. Like, so, I don't know Red Faction was a first-person shooter. Mm. Like, the very first game or something. Well, that's <laughs> the thing like... with those original games. The crazy, even then, like, the, the technically, if you think of Gorilla, Gorilla was actually even more dumbed down to a sense. Because in, in mm. like, Red Faction 1 and 2, you could, like, terrain dig anything. So you could literally just be like, I'm going to shoot a hole in this, like, and you're like, oh, I need to get through this section over here. Just turn and start shooting right through the dirt. Like, da -da 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 -da, and you just go, okay, I made myself a tunnel. And you get to your checkpoint because it's just like, oh, this is in the way? Screw that and just dig your way through. Like, you could just destroy the terrain. English was, it was very limiting when, when you got a bigger open world and shit. Like, mm. sorry. Because those were very condensed, like, packed. But. They made up with it with the buildings. So you had buildings and you could mm. do the same thing. You could have like an objective in the building or you needed to rescue someone. You'd be like, okay, easy. Blah. Again, da -da -da -da. <laughs> you blast down the, the walls. And you're like, yep, sweet. Just walk straight through or you ram it down and knock the towers down. So they still kind of represented and had it in Red Faction Guerrilla. It just was done differently. Worked with what was... the engine went with, which was good. Yeah, because as the games are bigger, mm. which... but. To try and do that, it would have been more complicated. Even alone, so think about like when Ren, like even when you think about Red, Red Faction, the first game when it came out. Because that was just polygons, wasn't it? like it was, you could easily do it with polygons, like yeah, because it's kind of like in Minecraft back in the day. Like it's easy to do it that? now because of that. One was fuck oh. PS two on that. Oh, what? okay. Red Faction was I forgot about that. No shit, it's part. Yeah, they make reference references in the game. No shit, I forgot. It's Deep Silver Vi Violation did um Red Faction. Oh yeah, actually towards the end um Ult Ultor, Ultor Corp. 
Oh yeah, that and Saints Row. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're they're the secret um, division. But in they're not faction. mentioned by name. Though it's just that. Like, Cult or it's Cult, it's yeah. not. Mm. But yeah, like they're part of it, but they're not at the same the time. Universe, it's weird. Like, Saints Row is set before the events of Red Faction. But mm. even then, okay, two thousand one. You know, we've had like Halo came out back then. You know, uh, or Gears of War. Was I've that never about played the original Red like, Faction. Like, so you think about when that came out. So that's two thousand one. They then had terrain destruction. To think about that, for a 2001 game, they already had ter- terrain alteration where you were like literally terraforming the earth. In a game like that, like far. And then oh, who was the developers though? Or oh, was it Deep Silver? Yeah, yeah, Deep Silver Vi- Violation. Because they don't really. De- oh, Volition, yeah. Because I say, Deep Silver was not a developer; they were a publisher. It was developed and designed by Deep Silver Violation. Yeah, but like Deep Silver was a publisher. Yeah, but they did it. Them- they did it all themselves. So that's. Yeah. yeah, Volition, which I think they might have seen their last day with this last one. The way that people are fucking trash. It's a 62, man, people mm. give it. The fucking critics. I think, it, oh, I think yeah, it's hard. It's true. Like, fuck. I do feel like people have, ever since, especially with Cyberpunk, the way Cyberpunk went, there's a, an expectation. People are putting too much expectation. Like, I can understand Cyberpunk's problem. Like, it's kind of almost like Nightmare Sky. They promised so much, they didn't give it when it first came out. And there was problems. Like, they promised so much that we didn't end up getting. And the fixes yeah. fixed things, but they still didn't give... No, the open world give. was fucking empty, though. But the problem as well is, we've seen it a lot lately, and we always keep talking about it. People are getting too entitled. They're expecting oh, things yeah. for free. I mean, we're, we're, we're even in that, really. Like, everyone like, is. But we don't... This soon as, bad. As, soon as we see something, we're like, oh, I hope it's got this, 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 this. Like, yeah. But I mean, there are literally some people that will bring it to the ground going, But I always oh, say I it's trash because it doesn't have one fucking certain thing. That's what I'm saying, because they didn't have the thing that they wanted. And they'll just freaking bag it out, and then they'll complain, oh, you know, it's like, you want it for free, but then you don't want to support them. Like, we've said it many times, like, you need to support these companies to make things so they can hear and keep making the things you do, but then you don't support them, then they're not going to make the th- like. We've said it many times, I don't want to go to look at, myself look again. At but... days, look, look at Days Gone. Yeah. There's exactly. no sequel to that because no one... Or people it sold like six or so, like nine million. That's well, still initial, a fuck ton of copies. The initial takeoff, there was just no interest in the initial takeoff. Mm. It wasn't until after... It was, it was buggy as hell. Mm. But, that's but like, I mean, they, they, they fixed it. Like, it's just people get impatient, demand things, expect things off the start, and then be like, oh, why is this so fucked? It's like, well... Things need time to be worked on. Stop harassing people into getting things done. There shouldn't be there shouldn't be this culture of harassing people to get things sorted. Like but also the publishers like, and um the what's it called the outside people who buy in fucking the shareholders need to set a more realistic a more realistic date. Yeah, and it's not it's expected for what the well, game they're having. Like, don't force something out when it's not fucking finished. Well, that's exactly it's like they, I feel like some of these shareholders get the misconception going. Oh, there's this game over here. This game had you know. I'm saying between three and five years now. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Like, but like there's an expectation where I feel like some people think go, oh, there's this game over here. They took them like two years, you know, to make. Why is it taking six years to make this game? It's like, well, that game only you know the campaign is like five hours. You know, the multiplayer not just is not that, even but there. A, you know, it, it could be a sequel, which half the work's already done. Exactly. and that's just, It just could feel... be a new IP, which you got everything from fucking scratch. Mm-hmm. And that's why I feel well, like yeah. sometimes people get this misconception. It's like, yeah, just because they've done that, this is a different thing. This is a new asset. A whole new player, engine. Like... Um, a whole new generation. Like, There's just, many oh, yeah. factors. Oh, yeah, it happens to be unreal. But, like, that's the engine they're using. They're still going to make assets. So it's it's like anything. Like, like you know games I mean? still like, using four and five. Like games using Unreal Engine five still using four. They're both, both it's, totally it's fucking like different. Everything. Like they're gonna make their own assets. They're gonna make their own. Textures, I mean, yes, you can go you can from four stuff. to five, but going from five to four couldn't be a thing because mm. you have to deconstruct every fucking thing. And that's like the thing. You see, so many people will go, "Oh, I've made this." Like that's what gets me as well. It's like, okay, it's cool. You can see that you've made a game within a week. You know, oh, I'll take me a week to make this game or a month to make. The, you know, you see these YouTube videos these days. It's like I did this game in a week, or I did this game in two weeks, or it took me a month to make this game. That is cool. But when it comes down to big studios making games, yes, there's more people. 
uh, the biggest thing that gets me is like you can go and buy your asset packs as an indie developer you can buy asset packs and make games for yourself personally and have no problems buying asset packs but then sometimes when it comes to commercial sale use you got to find if you can use those things commercially then pay the fees that need to be used for commercial rights and there's all these things that people don't count in factor it's like oh i made this game within a week okay yeah, you bought assets uh, unless they're already on the engine yeah but it's like there's so many people i see it's like they buy these assets that are designed for personal use then of course you're going to be able to whip things together for their personal use but if you're doing commercial licensing that's a completely different ball game Usually, a so, AAA developer makes their own things for like that they, very reason for copyright. Not just that, but they make what they want, not because oh that looks cool, but it's like we can make our own and make it look way fucking better or different. Or there's always different things, and I, I, I think more people. Like, like I've said this before, and I just feel like I legit these... played a game where two different fucking games that they're using the same fucking mm. thing is like yeah, and that's, that's like I mean I get why, but like. They could at least change the detail, change the texture, a paint job, yep. like, well, it's like the that, size like, of it. I did a video of it, like I made a parody video for that for that reason, because like, the, the base asset house they used in Electrician Simulator was the exact same base model layout as the house in Phasmophobia. It's the exact same what? interior... Yeah, yeah, so the the main spawn hub is the exact same model house they use. It's just oh. the door's closed in one thing. It looks a little bit cleaner, or the, the the whiteboard's not there, but they've got a different model. You know, they've got a workbench there. Like, things are different, but it's the exact same model interior they've used. They've just replaced. Damn. And it's like, there's a lot of games you'll see where people use the exact same assets. It's just they put their own models inside the interiors to make it their fitting. But it's just like, you yeah. can clearly see that they've just all bought the same house package, used it, and just got smack, 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 and then just changed the interiors. Like... Then, then you go to these games and you go, oh, this is the exact same. This is the exact same. This is the exact same. And then it just becomes this all familiar mush of, it's all the same. It's like you need to change things up so they feel more unique, not just change an interior. Anyone can change an interior. So, yeah, it's just, it's just there's so many people that just see things that don't understand what goes into things. Like, mm -hmm. it's, and that's the hard part. There's so many people that just expect things. That's why games like Spider-Man, because... They designed that whole fucking yep. world. Yeah. Plus, beyond that, you play, you can't even get to. They fucking like modeled like the island around and shit. Like, yep. And that's what gets me. It's like this. It's like, and then we've, like I said, said it many times, and it happens with everything. People just have these expectations. I always just say, you try and give it a go, and then actually see how it feels. You know, it's just... I don't want to hear the expectations of the second Spider-Man. I really don't. <laughs> like, I get it's gonna look amazing, but it's like. It's most likely the same map. Get the fuck over it. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, where are you going to go? It would be higher quality. Like, it would have probably more population and stuff. But, like... Changes, because it's like set in the future, so things would be slightly different. Buildings would be mm. built differently. You, you know, new real not, estate. Not, not that far in the future, I don't think, though. No, but, like, but you have certain real estate changes. Cause because you had the same map for Mars Morales. Mm. Because it's just winter. Like, they changed the whole map to winter. Mm. And that's like, exactly that, it. People complained about that. Well, that's the thing. The new features be they could have like revolving. They might not mention they could have revolving seasons. We don't know. Mm. Like, like that's the thing that people forget too. It's like people are going to be like, "Oh, why is it New York?" I'm sorry, but do you know Spider Man? Do you know where he lives? New York, like, Manhattan. Manhattan. You know, like, isn't it? No, it's New York. Manhattan. Yes, is it New York? Is it New York? <laughs> I don't know my US. Let me let me Jersey. look at another. But like they didn't have New Jersey. I thought they? New Jersey is across the bridge. Yeah, it's across the bridge. They did. They have that in Spider Man the first. You can't. You couldn't get to it. So maybe they might add that to it this time around. Like GTA, they've unlocked the thing and you can swim across the. <laughs> they used to do that with the old Spider Man. That'd be, that'd be games. fucking cool though. because you, you could go to the uh, Statue of Liberty, couldn't you? No, you I swim. think that no, I don't think so. So like that's the thing. So... Um, it's. Brought the borough of Manhattan. Manhattan. In a fiction, a fictionalized version of modern day New York City. Which is Manhattan. Okay, so Manhattan is. I don't even know my. Like, yeah, Manhattan. My, I don't know my US geographications. I don't either. I do it with Manhattan, <laughs> though. <laughs> I'm not like those people. Have you seen those geo guesses? I'm not one of those people on geo guesses that spins and goes, that dirt's Brazil. And it's like, yep. That, that dirt looks like. It's like, have you seen them? Have you seen those people? 
Like, they, they're they that good at geogas that they just spin and they go, and they just don't even look at anything. They just go, hmm, that dirt's a bit reddish. That's in Russia. Or, that dirt's a bit, uh, there's a bit of grass there. That looks like Ireland. Because they've done and a fucking like, research. It's like, oh my god, like, they played that much geogas so they just have to look at the soil and know it's New Zealand or it's Australia. Yeah. Like, I'll look at them like, that looks just like every backyard in Australia. But like, no, it's in Europe. It's just like, how the fuck? These people just sit there and just, oh, it just that, it doesn't. It that doesn't. water's German. But yeah. like, <laughs> like that's the next thing. Is it going to be geogas of fucking water? Like they're just going to know the difference between the water. Like, but yeah, it's that, crazy. That rock is Egyptian. I watched just one person play geogas. So I guess I'm new to it. It was typical streamers, you know, typical streamers. Um, <laughs> why is it like? I don't know why is it like that? And she, uh, I don't know. Not calling but she was like sitting there playing it, and you could clearly see. Like the sign and the, the text, like the the, the the writing, you can kind of guess it was in Europe somewhere. Like you could at least get an idea because there was a sign. And she's like, I need to find a better thing to understand where I'm at. And it's like, you can clearly see it's like Russian, like on the border of Russia. Better like, thing like, to understand where I'm at. And it's like, I, it's like, can't you do not, have you not seen Russian text or like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what yeah, Russian text looks like. I can read it. Exactly, but it all looks like in that same font, and it's just like I can't. I need to somewhere better to know where I'm at. It's just like you can't tell that's Russian font to me, or like you know. Could be a. It could be a stone. Yes, of black. Yeah, like yeah, like, like you can at least guess. Could be anything, it looks though, like really. It, like, but like they're just like oh, I need like they had to be like very specifically where they need. Like that's how you learn. Like, guess that's why it's called GeoGuessr, not Geo be specific. Like, <laughs> oh, Geo be specific. <laughs> GOB specific. Like, uh, like, fuck. I don't know. It's pretty funny. But fuck that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't look like a fucking idiot. Oh, no. I mean, I probably guess not get it fucking right for all I freaking know. That dirt is in. <laughs> it's like that dirt looks like Egyptian scroll up. Just. <laughs> Just sand everywhere. I just want to do it in the sand. Oh man, sand. like one grain of sand. That sand is Philippines. <laughs> like, yep. You're a like you're like you're in the fucking microscope. This sand is Egyptian. This sand is Norwegian. Like from Norway, bro. Uh, is there are beaches there. Yeah. Everyone has beaches, bro. Not everyone. Yeah, well, you're gonna, you're gonna, beaches aren't necessarily on the edge of the um of the lane. Beaches no, are in lane. Beach, if there's a lakes, beach at, a beach at all all the room, like. I mean, if there's an inland, they can be. You can classify as a beach if there's a lake somewhere in the thing. That's a beach line. I mean, a beach like proper like beach, coastal the beach, the coastal, yeah, coastal beach. beach. Yeah. Well, that kind of sand. <laughs> It's all the same, fuck. Yeah, it's, <laughs> all, it's all the same. Even a sand pit. It's coarse and rough. Remember a room. sand pit? Fuck, they're fun. Was when you were a kid, not and anymore. You'd pour, the, you'd pour, the, you'd dig a tunnel, on the channel in half, and pour some water, and you're like, I'm at the beach. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <is that>? what? <laughs> Oh, you that... fucking lost me there. I'm like, in a yeah. sandbox? In a... Yeah, you have to get half the side of it and you pour the water in, and then just before it seeps down, you're like, ha, ah, I'm at the beach. Then it just sinks in, and then you're like, okay, sand castles, and you you scoop all that up, the, the muddied sand up, and then you just build sand castles in your sand pit. I didn't even think of it. Oh, fuck's sake. You never did that? <laughs> you never did that with it's your sand like, pit, pouring water in it? I'm at. I'm at the beach. <laughs> yeah, you only get a, you only get a few seconds to imagine you're at the beach, but I could just go. <laughs> yeah. And then you scoop it up, and then you put it in your bucket, and you make your sand castle. I never in your thought sand of pit. that. And then, the and then after a while, you got to think because it's in the sand pit. Yeah, it gets muddy, but once it dries out, like actually dries back up again, it's back to being seen. Yeah, but then you got animal shitting in the in the sandbox. That's general, like I mean, that's got nothing to do with the water, but that's just 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 generally having a sand pit. You got to cover up so cats don't come along going. Cats, dogs, fucking yeah. surprise nuggets. What's this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> usually they'd be dry from the scene. The scene would make it nice and dry. Scoop them out, rake them out. 
lost Grenade! <laughs> yeah. Hey, catch! <laughs> Just fucking flick it at someone. <laughs> I always, this, this I like feel... sand, sandboxes are filthy. I like, always feel bad in a sandbox. Yeah. What? What? I was saying, flinging poop at someone. Yeah, no. Like, you ever used to like have to scoop up poop in the backyard from the dogs with the shovel? The pooper scooper. Sometimes you used to scoop it and you used to go, what? and you used to fling it and you don't know where it went. <laughs> you get it, you go, and you just launch it. You'd be like, there goes the poo, Captain. And a... You can just go to the next door neighbor. There you go. That's, that's some shit. Same as toads. You <laughs> I've done that toads. probably once or twice. You ever launched toads? Nope. You never launched toads? toads? Yeah, you can come battle toads. Yeah, fucking we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Sometimes toad season, like d- dad would always try to like. Yeah, have toads here. When it used to be yeah. bad, dad used to shovel the toads, so he'd like donk them on the head. The toads, he'd fucking bong. I used to, but he used to, you know, bong them and then chuck them in the bin. I used to scoop them up and get it and go, <laughs> just launch the toad, and the toad would go fly oh, yeah. it anywhere. Take it up, get in the street. I get down to the, the out the driveway and I stand in the street, looking down straight down the street. I have the toad and he'd be sitting on the shovel and I get it and go, <laughs> and you see it fly and just hit the road. Just... <laughs> You're going to hell, bro. That was me. I was like, Your toads were fucking. Everyone wanted to get rid of toads. That was going to be dead and be like, Satan to be like, <laughs> <"Fing."> <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there, there goes Des. Like a toad <laughs> down the down the pavement. That's messed up. Yeah, yeah, everyone hated toads. It's better than running over toads. At least in, if they get up, they got a chance to get run away. My dad used to bonk them on the head and kill them there and then. Yeah, they might even yeah, be dead what... half the time. He'd just like bonk them on the head, and mush them, and then then sometimes be like. I mean, like whatever. if they're in the bin, at least they're out of the way. Yeah, but like at least <laughs> I just fling them out of the way of my areas. They can go somewhere else, and someone else can deal with them. It doesn't help the problem. <laughs> no, but like, at, at least... I I'm just not... move it to the next point. Yeah, yeah, to deal exactly. with exactly. It's someone else's problem. At least I'm not killing it. I just send them flying. I mean, that would most likely either kill it or injure it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was me as a kid. I used to think that'd be... Fine. She'll, fine. She'll, she'll buff. She'd be right. She'll buff, man. She'd be right. Fucking big fucking green fucking trail. Yeah. It's not going to get fucking road rash and you leave your skin on the ground. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was like... I've done uh, that before. Blood and fucking skin just chilling there. Was it the... Uh, oh, there was that, was that other news. What's his... I can't remember his name. Um, what's his name? Who? I'm trying to think of it. So... Yeah, my name. Close. <laughs> no, no way, it's fucking not. near. Um... Do you hear the? Uh, I don't know if you got down your notes, but uh, did you hear the talks of um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan joining the boys? Oh yeah, no, he's he, he is in there. Yeah, season. He posted about it. He he fucking well, when I read it, because I I just seen someone post. I've done the artwork for season four, boys. Mm. Like no need to do it. It's not like him like just chilling in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck posted Jeffrey Dean? Why would he make art? And then I just clicked him like, oh, oh. Mm. Supernatural reunion. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Everyone's saying they need to get that Padalecki into it. And then, then it would be a, a reunion within the boys. I'm going to... Can you imagine? Like, we got friggin' Soldier Boy thinking of Soldier a Boy. Fucking like... It's, yeah, but it's like... He plays Soldier Boy's father or something. <laughs> again, on top of that, it's like, but then he like he's even older again. He's another superhuman, like superhuman. Right? He's older again. That's been living like captured is... away, like matter again. He 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 can't be like Soldier Boy though, because Soldier Boy was the first. Yeah. Like, so I was like, I don't know who would he be? <laughs> they have him playing as one of his kids, <laughs> another kid of his. <laughs> Swap it around, right? That's what I mean. That'd be messed up. Maybe as a kid. I, wonder who I think he'll be a villain. I reckon though. Got to be something. Got to be something badass. 
And Unless no, he's a good guy. It was funny, though, because my mum told me, she's like, oh, I've watched all the Supernaturals. And she's like, what's this boys thing? It's like, I've watched all the Supernaturals now. I'm like, how the fuck are you managing to get through all 15 seasons? I haven't even managed to get through it yet. I still need to watch it. And watch all the Supernaturals. No, it's, not, it's not hard. But yes, yeah, so you watched Although all... an episode goes for like 40-odd fucking minutes. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, fuck, she watched all 15 seasons at all fucking 20-something episodes at 45 minutes an episode. I'm like, ah. <laughs> But she was like, what's his not, boys? It's not hard, but it's on, um, what, uh, Prime, isn't it? Something like that, I think. Stan. Prime, Stan. Prime. I think, because I was, because I started it. I'm I need like, to watch them. I've got them on DVD, I just watched them on there. <laughs> I need to watch them. But no, I was talking about that, and she goes, I keep hearing about the boys. What's the, what's the boys? I'm like, you don't want to watch it. You don't want to watch it. And I'm like, I, I'd exp- I, good. I basically explained to because my, because both my, my parents were over, my, my mum and my dad. And I was explaining to him, like... Because my dad's watched The Boys, so he knows what's up. And I was explaining the, 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 the latest season, I explaining the uh, the penis scene. And I explained, like, that whole sequence. The hero, the hero goes and shit. Like, well, I didn't explain that one, but it was just that penis, the one where, the, where he shrinks down, and he fucking goes... Oh, like, yeah, yeah. the fucking first episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I was explaining that, and my dad was cracking up laughing. He goes, oh, that's great, that's hilarious. Mom goes, that's disgusting. I'm like, well, you want to know what The Boys is like? I like, actually saw an outtake of it. Yeah. That was a fully functional, like, the dude yep. really went in there. Like, they it was fucking whole, massive. They built a whole chamber thing so you could actually walk inside of it, this, like, cushiony freaking pen. Right. So you could walk through it and stuff. Like it wasn't So cheap. what a way to start a fucking season. Like, what's oh. the next season gonna, gonna be like? Start off with a fucking bang, for sure. Like, I'm already keen. To, they already started filming it, so. I know what this next one's gonna have. 2023, man. Oh. By the way, if you haven't seen what I'm wearing. Eddie. I didn't even click. Yeah. <laughs> got the, got the uh, Eddie Rocker, Eddie Van Rocker shirt. Eddie Van Rocker. Anyone's interested, we got up on the store on the red bubble. I'll have to put a link in below. Eddie Van Rocker. Is that a purple shirt? Uh, it's like a navy. Welcome to our navy. But it looks great because of the colouring of, like, the, the washed out, like... It almost... The circle kind of funny, too, because it almost looks like a Pepsi logo because you've got, like, the red and the blue. Yeah. In the circle it almost looks like a Pepsi logo. It looks like the cloud... Like, it looks purple from And then, yeah, the, the clouds camera. are purple. The clouds are actually purple. I mean, the shirt looks purple. Like, it looks mm. like another shade. Kind of almost is like that. That's why I did the design and I wanted to go on this shirt. So it seemed appropriate. So, yeah... No, I gotta get on. I've got some ideas from new designs that I'm working on. I've got some ideas. I was thinking of doing a uh, Beardy Bros. Uh, he He Man shirt. Ooh. I was um I was thinking whether to do a Skeletor version where I could be Skeletor and you could be uh, Beast Man. <laughs> Beast Man. And then I was thinking then I, well, we could do that one and then on the other one it would be like the He Man version. I was thinking you could be He Man and then I could be his sidekick. So I was thinking of doing the two two Ooh. sides of that. So I was thinking some designs there. So if people want to get idea, like get an idea, if you're interested, that's what I'm thinking of working on next. So at some point mm-hmm. I've got these ideas viewing in my head of like how I want to, I want them to be, I want to be in like a new combo shirt. So we've, we had the last one, which was our uh, oh. one year anniversary. Uh, we need I'll, to put the, um, those, the, like the things on the shirt, the, the, the skull emote thing, the, rock the emotes. Emote. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just trying That'd to be think. fucking dope. Well, actually, have, I don't know if you noticed. Did I, did I tell you about this with the shirt as well? Have you noticed the guitar, by the way? Wonder. It's actually... It's, I, an, ex, it's an explorer. Uh, it's the emote I made for you. I reused what? it. I reused it and put it on the shirt. Oh, <laughs> because I was like the guitar is basically what he uses, somewhat like that in the um in that scene. Like, I was like, like well, an explorer. Yeah, and I was like, why redesign the guitar when I've already got the guitar made? So I was like, let's just get the emote that I drew for you anyway. His fucking head disappeared. <laughs> and I was like, why, why, why draw a whole new guitar when it's <laughs> per- perfectly fits? And I just rescaled it, and I kind of did like clean up the edgings and stuff, and re like. But yeah, I just re-put it in there the, from the emote that I made for you. So I was like, well, it's my assets anyway. So I've already wow. did that. And I just re-put it back I wouldn't in. have even... Yeah. Clicked. 
Yeah, it's the same one. It's the black one. So I actually added like the blue hue to it instead. So I, I touched up the hue and changed it. But yeah, I just I was like, why create a whole new thing when I've already got it? So you just reuse that. Already right fucking there, like. Yeah. So it was, thinking. It, was, it was pretty cool. It was like <laughs> oh, perfectly shaped, angled, and everything. And yeah, I was like, yep. So I yeah, to... I was like, I wonder if you noticed that, but you can't really see unless you look at it. But yeah, you look at your. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I just. Yep. <laughs> like how cool is that it's cheeky just to reuse assets like it's good like right? if you make the assets reuse them like like where you can just redesign do, things like, and fuck so I reckon considering cool. you, can, you can try and do it again but it probably wouldn't be as good mm. so that's like it's going to be different so it's one of those things yeah but no um, but no that's what I'm thinking of doing is definitely uh Looking at doing like a He Man parody, um, He Man skeletal shirts for the next range of like, because I don't. What do we have? Because we've got next year is our second year anniversary. It'll be next April, isn't it? Was it this? Because we had when was it? Because that was this year was our one year anniversary. It's just, this is the third season. I know, but like it was weird because we had the twenty twenty. We started. When did we do that? Because I say we had the shirt. No, twenty nineteen was it? Wait, let me look in the book. It was 2020, because we started when the pen... April 30th, 2020. Yeah, and then we had the shirt... When did we drop that one? Or was that last year? The one, one, the first anniversary? I don't know. And then we weren't... And then we, we were going to do something different, was it? For like the yeah, it would have been 2021. Yeah. I can't remember. We are going to do something. I can't remember. Well, we've already passed the two years. I know. So, I don't know. That's like I was going <laughs> to... The third something year... Else. I can't remember. I made different things, so maybe it was, I don't know. Do something for a third. Hang on, year. I just re- it's a second year, but it's the third season. Yeah, because we did them. No, no, it's weird. Because when it's it, you got to think it gets to that point. So <laughs> one to two. So once you've done the first season, when the first the second season's out, that's one year. So when the second season's finished and it's the third, it's third, it's the second year. So when this season finishes, then it'll be the third year. Because the third anniversary... I know, but, it, but it'll be 2024. Three. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be the, the third anniversary. Yeah. Because at the end... The end? Oh, we're ending? <laughs> this is... oh. We're doing an Unis Arnis? Just delete everything. You don't realise how much notes were back in the early days. Yeah, we've done a lot. We, like I said, we've, we've come a long way, and this is just going to keep on going, like... I'm still trying to think what else we can get. Like, I don't know. There's so many things I want to do. Get. get do. What do you mean, get? Get good. 2020. Yeah, it's crazy. That was the audio. Audio still goes strong. I haven't done this fucking book yet. Yeah. Got a blank page. It's just crazy. Thought. I still can't believe we've been going for this long. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you got that much of the book left. Ah, oh, yeah, we get a new book. Still fuck tons of pages, man. I know, Actually, yeah. not really. Yeah, there's still it's not like really 20 pages. Tons. Um, but that's crazy. All right. 2020, I thought it was 2019, then 2020, 21 was uh-huh. the anniversary. Uh-huh. And this year we didn't do it. Oh, no, because... No, because we... you don't really do one for everyone. No. Really. Like the first one... I think that's what we... We did have a reason why we didn't do it, though. Yeah. I just can't remember what the reason was. It wasn't as important as like the first, because this is the first anniversary. We didn't need mm, to do like, like the second, third. The whole one. one fucking year. like Yeah. But then it was like, did we do the five, was it? Or the fifth? That's a long way away, though. Uh, wait, wait, isn't is it, though? When you think about it? The end of this season will be the third season, third, third year? We would hit... I know, right? We're, Fuck. Technically, technically, we're at the halfway point. Yeah, I know, but... Damn. Crazy, eh? Damn. Crazy, like... Fuck. Damn. I would never have thought I would, like, as always, like, I've keep I've mentioned a few times, but, like, I would never thought I'd, like, stick to something like this for this long and keep doing Damn. it. Like, this is great. Like, we've, we've stuck to this. Like, I don't know if you've ever stuck to anything before and, like, committed so long to something, but... I did to work. That's about it. <laughs> to work. I know, like, that's what I mean, like... This Nothing is... else. This is great. I mean, I mean, it is just sitting around talking. I mean, but... I, I did to watching The Walking Dead. Yep. <laughs> Until that ended. <laughs> That's fucking... I, I haven't seen past season five. 
Yeah, it's like that. I think I'm the same with most. Oh, I went five years of watching it, like yeah. on the fucking day every fucking week, and, and just, like, it's just like, yeah. And then I'm like, I didn't have Foxtel, and that's what it was on. So I'm like, I can't really watch it anymore. Yeah. So I was like, that's still <sighs> fuck like five years of watching that. I had to clear the back when I wasn't streaming as well or yeah. anything. I was just working, so it was a lot easier. Yeah, I'm gonna start slotting in time so I can start watching bloody Supernatural. And then start reserving a, a, a time, watch an episode, a day or something like that. Clock a time. Oh, right. that would take you 15 years. 15 years? <laughs> no, put it, make it an episode a week. Episode a week? That's, 50, that's 15 years. Yeah, I'll say episode <laughs> every week. Oh, Two not, episodes. no. If you. The same schedule they had it on, like an episode every two weeks, uh, roughly. So you, it, it puts in the breaks without taking a break. Yeah. It might take you 15 years to watch it. <laughs> My mum watched it all and she managed to get it done in like the last couple of months. Well, I did Malcolm in the Middle. That's seven seasons. I did uh, that in like two fucking 40, weeks. 45 minutes an episode. There's 20-something episodes, like, so what, 24 episodes? 22, 24, something. So that's, like, an, nearly an hour. So that's nearly 24 hours. Not even yeah. that. You think about it, because they're only 45. But let's just say they're... And she just binged it. <laughs> yeah, so let's just say you round it up. So it is 24 episodes. At, let's just say 60 minutes an episode. That's 24 hours. And then there's 15. So, it's, you know, that that's 15 days. Worth of that's not that long when you think about it either. No. So if you watched it every, an episode a day... Take you a long time. Yeah. Maybe a lucky year. Then that one year you can watch it. So. Give so it a what, 15. Was it, how, many? how many episodes? There's like a, I wonder how many episodes there are. Like, because some are shorter. I think some are shorter, some are longer than the 40 minutes. Yeah. I think that's. Super. 16. That's sure. Episodes. There is. I don't know when the fuck. Three hundred and twenty-seven episodes. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hours. Times that by fifteen. So that's three hundred sixty hours. So if you watch an episode what? a day, okay. So if you watch an episode a day, that's that's like a whole year. That's, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. So if you watched an episode a day, every day, like every day of the week, yeah, that's that's the whole year. But most of the time when you watch shows, you watch three episodes. Two or three episodes. Okay, so adding up the run time of all 15 seasons, 14,600 minutes. Yeah. But it doesn't say... Take, it would take 13 14, days and three hours without we'll say breaks. 14,600. It take 13 days and three hours. Divide that. Let's say you watch three episodes a day, around two hours, and it'll take you. They've already broken all this down. Oh, someone's done it. If if it would take thirteen days, three hours to watch the show without breaks, let's say you watch three episodes every day, around two hours, it would take you one hundred and fifty-four days to watch the entire show. Yeah. Like. That's How three episodes? episodes a day, like one hundred and fifty-four days. Like fuck. So that's what my show. What my mum's done then. Yeah, that's fucking, but way less than that. Uh, like day day was. Yeah. When, when she started, or you know, like any s- idea? Six months ago, most probably. Maybe she's probably on par with three episodes a day. Maybe yeah. two. That's a lot of time to have spare. Not really. <laughs> three episodes a day. That's for I'm, my mum. I'm like halfway through for Last mom, Man Standing. That's committed. Like... That's committed for my mum. Because she's the type of person who will put something on, walk away. I mean, her, she mostly go on. She mostly did that though. She mostly put an episode on, watched it for a bit, got up, come back, keep watching it. And then watch another episode and then you can come back and go, no, yeah, you know, you know, you, you know what you can do then? You can fucking quiz her on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's this person? <laughs> who? <laughs> like. That's not bad though. If you watch it, if you think about it, you watch two hours, you know, two and a half, like a normal movie length. Like, a day. That's not too bad. That's still fucked up. It's three episodes, isn't it? I mean, I was binging back in the middle maybe five, six hours a day. 
when I was watching that. Yeah. Finished it in like two fucking weeks. Yeah. All fucking... How many of those like 20 minute episodes aren't there? I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like five hour bursts. That's a lot of fucking episodes. That's of three an hour. I could roughly probably do a season pretty quick mm. of that. In a day, two two days. But the last man standing, that's roughly the same. Twenty on ep twenty on episodes at twenty minutes, twenty two minutes. You know what it's weird that you used to be able to binge shows because like I used to do that at Smallville. Like I used to be able to just watch through and I would watch all the seasons. It's just like I saw that. That was on sale, man. That's the whole like Smallville like... collection for like seventy bucks. That's pretty good. I was like, do I do it? I mean I've seen it when I was a kid, but like that was a long time ago. That was the thing. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch that again. It just feels like you have all this time when you're young you think about it when they like come out the time and you watch them over time. It's like, yeah, it feels like it's like nothing and you watch them on then like then you're like, Oh, I want to watch the whole set and you're just like, Fuck, there's so much of it And it's just like it just feels different. Yeah, but you realise it's easier to binge, though. Yeah, now. definitely easier. Because we can prioritise that over anything else. Yeah. Like, I legit, I, I just got in bed and just, like, binged. I binged Banshee. Yep. Malcolm in the Middle. I binge, binge The Last Man Standing. Plus movies in between that. Yeah. Like, the last, like, couple of months. Pretty fucking easy. Plus streaming, podcast, like. <laughs> but then, but then at the same time, like, what else have you been playing though? That's the thing. Like, how often do you get to play? Yeah, it? plus I've platinum like Assassin's Creed and shit. Uh, it, it's, like... it's it's it is yeah. So, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's, it's crazy what you can actually. Like, it's best out. It's like I shouldn't be able to do what I do, but I do because I. It's weird. I don't even plan anything either. It's all just spur yeah. of the moment. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's my ankle. I bump, bump my scab on my foot. And it's oh. partly, partly coming off, but it's partly stuck on still. Put a band aid on it, bro. I know I'm going to have to after this, so don't bump it. Put a band aid on it, so don't bump it and rip it off in my sleep, because it's already kind of peeling off a bit. I don't want to be pissing out blood in my sleep and fucking ruining the sheets. Oh. Worst thing is like, you're gonna swimming. Wake up and you've bit of blood a little bit and you've stained the fucking sheets. You're like, for fuck's sake, the white sheets are stained with blood. That's why you don't have white sheets. Yeah. I learned that. Mine are, are dark. dark. Mine are dark colours now. I'm like fuck. Dark colours. Mine's a dark green. Mine's like an emerald. Dark, dark. But anyway. Emerald it's... and a grey brown. Uh, well, well, we haven't even talked about games. Come on, we're going to talk about a bit everything else. <laughs> and everything else. I mean, you know at the same time, though, I think a lot of people have seen everything that's come out of this week so far. Hopefully, because there wasn't that much. It was, but it, I say, I do it was high quality over yeah. quantity, like that's exactly it. which is always good. So, because we did see some stuff last week, didn't we? Didn't it start? This week. This week? Last week. Wednesday. Mm. Started Wednesday, Wednesday until... Wednesday. Tomorrow? Something like that. Tonight for us? At like 4am, 3am, 5am? Something like that. I wasn't streaming any of it because... Priorities. Yeah. But I think a lot of people... I had to, I had to, I had to work and... Not... It's no biggie. I couldn't... I... I could have streamed it fucking Wednesday, but I did get up and go to the eh, hospital. So I was like, eh. <laughs> Prioritize. That's something like... Uh, streaming at 11 o'clock is not fun because you can't still sleep in. So if you go to bed late, you can't fucking... An extra couple of hours in bed. Hmm. And then it's late in the day where you got to stream. It's like, like I did today. Like I'm like, fuck it, six p.m. I got to get off. Yeah. I was like, ha. No. Can't win. Can't fucking win. Uh. That's crazy. That's why I sent you the message. I'm like, I might be late. I wasn't really. 
I mean, I was a little bit, like half hour, but yeah. Yeah, I legit. I, I also, but what took even longer was I got Aiden into Seven Days to Die with us. Yeah. And then I'd make Din Din's, which I kind of did a naughty. Yeah. I had two packets of noodles and then three toasted sandwiches. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking starving, oh, man. Fuck. Like, Some, sometimes you have days like that. Some days it's just like, nah, fuck it. I need to have a mad feed. Because I did a thing where I ate at 9am this morning. I had a bowl of the Nutri-Grain fruit, like little square things. Yep. Not Nutri-Grain, the Wheat Bix fruity, yeah. the, little... the Honey Blast. Yeah, yeah. Those things are amazing. And um, I was fanging because everyone in the stream was talking about they had buffalo pizza, they oh. had fucking onion, well, I was talking about onion rings and all... <laughs> yep, yep. burgers and that. And I'm like, I'm fucking hungry now. And then I'm like, friend of six, I'm like, it's tea time. I'm going to make some... I was making the toasties and I'm like, I want some noodles with it. So I made some noodles. Uh, I had noodles for lunch. Oh, nice. And then I'm like, yeah. So I smashed the noodles, smashed the sandwiches. I'm like, I want Fuck. cereal, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I was like, Fuck it, I wouldn't mind that though. Just a nice bit of ham, cheese, tomato, just toasted together. The best some fucking... salt, pepper. Yeah. Best fucking sandwich. You can't go wrong with it, eh? Like, that's something you can't go wrong with. It's so I just good. love a good old tomato and cheese, salt, pepper, oh, like, even sandwich. Then, yeah. Sometimes Ooh. it's like, well, I like to do it when, if I do it like a tomato and cheese. Get your thick fucking tomato like that thick and just lay some on. Don't even, like, sometimes you'd sandwich, but sometimes it's like, if it's tomato and cheese, you got to have them separate. So it's just bread, tomato, cheese on top, and then you pepper it. Oh, so good. That's all pepper on the tomato, then the cheese on top, and yeah. then... So good when that toast and it melts over it and just wraps over it and melts. Put it in the fucking grill. Yeah, so good. So good. Oh, yeah, like this. Hang on. I feel like I, yeah, Let I me don't have some now. You can, you can get hungry about this. I'm hungry. You can get hungry about this, motherfucker. If I... If you can find it. There's one thing i got to say about... um. There you go. Done. I ha Samsung, let me access my fucking folders in certain apps. Sometimes you can't fucking. Oh, um, it's the nice longer bread too, like the bun. That's the um the Turkish yeah. bun bread, like the buns. This so is cut good. in half. Oh, that's so good. And you put one. ham. Yep. Tomato. I think there's cream I, cheese yeah, under I see, the ham. I see you done both. You've done your normal tomato and cheese, and then your tomato, cheese, and ham. You've gone with both. It's so good. And put it in the grill. Oh, broil it until it's like melted and the the top's quite crunchy. And oh man, you can't fucking go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, the second one's chicken, like chicken loaf. Oh yep. Mmm. Put some cream cheese, put your, put your meat, tomato, salt, pepper, cheese, which is, that's the block, you just cut it up and... So good. Man, I want... I could some, smash that all fucking day. I'm banging for some of that. Hopefully I can get some in the morning, maybe, if I get the work. <laughs> yeah, well, there's other Turkish fucking rolls. I want to just go down and thing, just get, like, some <laughs> Turkish roll, get some tomato, and i got cheese, and I think I've got ham still, if it's alright, I don't know. You already got the indigestion happening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like tomato. <laughs> get it like, nice. Oh, and it's good too when you get the tomato grilled just right. So it's nice and like grilled, but then it's like juicy still. And if it's all shrimply, and then the the, the 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 cheese is like nice and golden bubbly. It's just <laughs> perfect. And then the edge of the bread's just like nice and crispy. It's like Good. You, you, so when you just get got it, that crunch, and then the crunch. inside of it like is all just nice and soft and squishy. Yeah, it's nice and juicy, but it's warm and it's just so good. I'll do one with a bit of egg on it. I saw this thing. You know Sam, the cooking guy. Yeah. He done a poached egg, like a poached egg, put it in the ice water. Yep. Um. Then he got some flour. Put the egg in the or you dried it off. Put the egg in the flour. Yep. Dipped it in some whisked some whisked egg. Yep. And then panko breadcrumbed it and then oh. and then fried it. <laughs> oh my god. So it was like this crunchy fucking um 
poached egg and it looked fucking amazing. Fried, fried poached egg. That's like it was it was right. fried like crispy on the outside, then yeah. in the middle was all runny yolk and <laughs> like it looked amazing. I never think I'm that. Like... I never think of having a fried egg like literally like because uh, when you think of fried egg, it's one thing, but like literally that's a fried egg basically. Like it's got the crumb and everything, and it's like, like I can't do a fried egg on the fry pan. Like I can't do that. It just feels weird. Imagine doing it so it's like you like you do it's like a fried egg. And it looks like a hash brown. So it's like that shape, and you're like ah, oh, and you go. It's just oh, <laughs> eggy. And yolk in there is coming out. Oh, yeah, but like, he like cracked it and the yolk just ran in between the two halves. Like, oh, I'd love to make my own hash browns. Just potato. You just, I know. Imagine potato, just... eggy potato hash browns. That's potato you put through a rice or something. Like you just yeah. mince it up. Imagine then you just that. form Imagine... it. Yeah. Shape it. I did have a hash brown fused with a poached egg. Like, you cannot beat a McDonald's fucking hash brown. They're good, right? Oh, they're you, hanging for a Like, if, you, if it's before midday, you're kinda at just, Macca's. Kind of just want to order some, You get, like, a couple of hash browns, two or three, plus an egg and bacon McMuffin, and you're just set. Actually, I might even have that for breakfast. Get myself some Mackies for <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. I might do that. Like, de- no, get your freaking deep fried poached egg. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going out to the zoo tomorrow, so I might get some Mackies on the way. Oh, get some hash brown and fucking egg and bacon get McMuffins. Mis- get myself a sausage and bacon egg McMuffin. Hash brown. Sausage and egg. I love getting that freaking, was it the Mighty, the, the Mighty Brekkie burger or whatever it is? It's like the... What is that? You get the egg, you've got like the, the, the sausage, the egg, you've got cheese, you've got... Two rash of bacons, you've got the hash brown on it with cheese, and it's all like oh. What? Yeah, so it's like it's like <laughs> the nice nice soft burger bun. And then it's cheese, hash brown, then it's like a layer of bacon, then no- another bit of cheese on top of the sausage, then another piece of bacon, and then there's like the nice tomato relish sauce on it, and it's all smooshed together like oh, That sounds so amazing. Good. It's so good. It's like the mighty brekkie burger or whatever it is. Or you just make your own, get your egg and bacon McMuffin, and put your fucking hash browns on it. Mm. It's always <laughs> my favourite thing to get. So I had a Big Mac the other day. Like, the Big Mac. Not so big. It's so fucking good, though. Like, it's still amazing. Very messy. Yeah. The sauce, though. It... Well, I was like, that's like Hungry Jacks. Their burgers are so tiny nowadays. Oh, I ordered... we just bigger. I ordered, a... I ordered, like, a big, like... A big meal, like they are freaking pretty massive. Though. Like they're still they're, like they're so tiny. I was like, oh, I mean, I didn't get a whopper, but like I ordered that. Yeah, whoppers are big, man. There's, like whoppers are big. There's that new chicken burger where they're like going about the new chicken burger, and it's like this nice crispy feel. You get it, and it's the size of their normal burgers, and then you get like a normal burger. It's like this tiny little thing. It's like I got like the basic chicken royale burger the other the other week. And it's just like a small little burger. I was like, it's like, it's like the size of a kid's cheeseburger. <laughs> like a little fucking... Fucking... And I was like, what the hell? And then you go for this new, oh, get the new thick, big Royale chicken. And it's like the advertised thick, crunchy thing. And you get it. And it's the size of the original normal size. Right? I was like, what the fuck? It's just like they've shrunk down the normal stuff they're to a kid. They're fucking you, bro. Yeah, they've just like shrunk everything down. And they're trying to like bring out these new things. And they're bigger and better. But they're, they're the actual original sizes. It's like, oh, it's fucked. Wow. They're like so small. They're like they make it like because you look. You know how they have the kilojoules. And you know, oh, the average intake is like eight thousand kilojoule bullshit. It's like oh, I have this hungry tamers thing, and it's like seven thousand. Like the meal itself is nearly like the one daily intake. But you get it, and it's the small burger and small chips and all the stuff. It's like how is this nearly eight thousand kilojoules when it's like the small fucking portion that I eat? Yeah, that you say that. My fucking zinger stacker was like as big as a fucking Big Mac or, or less. Mm. Exactly, and they make it out like there's all these killer jewels and saying, like, "Oh, this is more than you do." But you get it's a small fucking meal. And you're okay, like, I but eat then it. again, I was still fucking full afterwards. Like, I don't think they really. I don't think it's really smaller. I really don't. Well, I, I ate the whole thing. I had the big Royale burger, my little Royale burger, a large chips, the drink. Ate the whole thing. Ate three nuggets, no four nuggets. And then ate my missus' other half of her burger because she couldn't eat it because she wasn't as hungry, and I was still feeling fucking hungry. Oh, and I was like, fuck? yeah, I was like, and then I can order like a fucking Big Mac and shit from like McDonald's or a quarter pounder, and I'm like, yep, 
Oh, okay, that's a bit fooling, you know. Quarter Pounder really fills you up. I don't know, it's just like... what the Same as a Big shit? Mac. Like, they're just well-made burgers. Mm. It's just like the quality, I don't know, it's just... Yeah. I hate a Big Mac, though, because it's... <sighs> It's so fucking tall, but that, I mean, like you bite into it and it like starts sliding out the other fucking end. I mean, I do, I do mind like the the quality of the burger, like how they look, how they're made per se, isn't like isn't the like jacks. the best hungry, but like they taste nice. They do taste the, nice. The hungry the what jacks. ones? They're burgers, like just the general burgers at Hungry Jacks. Yeah, but they if do you, taste nice, but the if you want a chicken burger, crap. though, you go to KFC. Yeah. If you want a true chicken burger, KFC all the way. Anything chicken, you go KFC. It's better than Red Rooster, honestly. Like KFC is still better than Red Rooster. Like I don't... KFC is just the best for chicken. Like, but like it's ama- you get the original recipe chicken, you can't beat it. Yeah, I mean Red Rooster though is maybe very... the zinger as well. You get the zinger. It's mm. the the zinger fucking fillet like, and shit. The, chicken the zing, the chicken zinger. is better there, but like we have it's Red Rooster, but it just feels chicken. like. It always the only thing that's kind of good about Red Rooster is just it's, they feel like they're designed to be your typical like roast chicken, like that's what they've always very oh. kind of been is your roast chicken with Red Rooster. They just go to fucking Woolworths to get a roast chicken. That's what I mean. Like that's why it's so weird that we've had this restaurant. It's I like know, what five ten bucks at Woolworths for a chicken. Because yeah. have you ever been to Red Rooster? Have you had Red Rooster? No, I've I, that old charcoal chicken. I didn't even go anywhere yeah. fucking near. You've ever had a Brumbies? Is it Brumbies chicken? Brumbies, yeah, yeah. fucking rugby team. There's a fucking chicken house, Brumbies. and that's the weird thing too. It's like a red rooster. They're basically the same things. You'd order your roast chicken, you get your side of peas and your mashy potatoes. It's like, like that's how they always serve them. Like they're all the exact same kind because of Because KFC places. doesn't doesn't do that. KFC is all fried like ch- chicken wings and chicken breasts and tenders and like like it's interesting. But it, red rooster is very roast chicken. I don't give you a whole chicken. I don't think at KFC. Yeah. Which is more for a family, oh. but then again, if you if you want a family feed, get a fucking box of fucking chicken, like get a bucket, oh. get a bucket of chicken with some fucking coleslaw, tater and tater and gravy. Bro, what I did, I've never done this before till this last week. I um dipped my original recipe into tater and gravy and ate the chicken. I'm oh, like, I've, I've never done that, but I just went. <laughs> And just, it's so good. That's how it's meant to be done. I think that's what it's made for, not the actual chips. Well, you you know that gravy that that the gravy that's in that. That's mm. the herbs and spices, like the juices left over. They they get from that the, from, from the, the chi- from the chicken. chicken stuff, and they put it in that, and they mix up in this gravy. It's so bash, fucking good. And they put it with the mashed potato, and that's like that's why like that's why it's like always funny when people go, oh, it's like why would you dip chips into potato? You've literally got potato dipping into potato for the like. Why would you do, like? It's designed like, to have on now. Your I now I know or, about the chicken. I'm just gonna just. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, that's what it was always designed for. Like, it gets very messy, and, though, if you're not you careful. You get the spoon and you just eat it. Like, you could just eat the t- tatty gravy. Yeah, like. but you dip your chicken because it's... It kind of feels what was missing. Like, yeah. it's got the gravy where you got the bit of potato that gives it that little bit extra. Yep. That's just so I've, good. I've missing out this whole fucking time. Well, now you maybe want some KFC. Fuck. <laughs> you want everything. I want, I want, I want, I want a Macca's breakfast. I want a hash browns, and I want the egg. But then I want KFC. And I want, I'm gonna be like that dude off that fucking YouTube. You see that big, uh, that, that crazy guy, that big fat guy now. Have you seen him on YouTube where he just eats all the time? He just mukbangs. Oh, um, Nico remember. Avocado. Yeah, yeah. He's Nico, like fucking Nico Avocado. big fella now, and it's just because he fucking he's fucking mukbanging all the time, and it's just like yeah, everyone's forced him to do it. He chose it himself, like. Everyone's forcing him, apparently. He like, chose to do it. He, and he keeps going, oh, it's the experiment. So he's like, you could have stopped this years ago. You're the one that's getting the attention and keep appreciating the attention from doing this. You didn't no, have to keep doing this. I remember it's just fucking water weight. Oh. <laughs> you see how he started? Oh, no, Look at him now. I could never get that big. Like, fuck that's me. That's fucked. Like, I'm surprised it still does it. Like, that's fucked. Like, I... W- uh, who the fuck likes a mukbang? Like... I hate eating eating on camera. I hate it. But like all that food, like how much of it even gets eaten? Like you see so much of it. It's he, probably, like... he probably does eat all of it, or pretty much all of it. Oh, I just I can I can understand having like a mukbang, ordering all that and having like 10, 15 people sitting around and doing a group mukbang. Like, like maybe I'd do understand. it with just like a actual like a get a zinger box. I probably muk, mukbang is fucking zinger like, box. Like, like doing like a friggin' the friggin' the the was it Jesus the Jesus Christ feast thing. Where you have like the whole big table and you have everyone around eating a feast, like 
you like oh, that... the fucking <laughs> yeah yeah the table like that I can understand doing a mukbang like that having like a whole big table and actually having a proper feast with everyone like and you had those content like that I can understand that would be yeah, cool but it wouldn't but having be as one good. person there just go like like bruh and then, bruh. And then, and then he cries when he drops something like uh, over exaggerating fucking uh. or, he's, or, he's, or, or when he oh. fucking shat himself when he farted, he's like, I shit myself. Like, uh, yeah, well, that's you got yourself to blame there. Yeah. Yeah. I want KFC again. I'll get it next week. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to eat my tater and gravy. Oh, I had a popcorn chicken. Put that in your tater and gravy. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. They're good. They're good. I, I, I missed a big $10 fucking bucket of. Every now and then, chicken. I know, it's every now and then they do that. And it's just like it's always when I'm not there. Like, yeah. it's always when I'm down here, like, two hours, three hours from my fucking KFC. I know, and then one time you go up there, it's like, no, sorry. No, but Subway, though. Subway. Subway just... Oh. I can't believe... The... I mentioned Subway on Sauce, and all the US people get up in arms, and like, oh, it's got plastic in it and shit. Like, yeah, maybe over there, but, like, here it's amazing. Foot long or a six inch? I oh, know, you can't go wrong, eh? I had a meatball sub, it was a foot long with some ranch and some fucking jalapenos. I haven't actually had Subway for a while, it's been a while, but Subway is just so nice. Just, I think about their bread. Like, no matter what bread you get, it's, it's just fresh. so nice. Like, it's so... It's fresh, man. Mm. I, I know a friend that used I... to work at Subway, and when I used to finish work, we'd I used to, we'd, like, go to the, nip around to them when they finished, and be like, knock on the back door, and be like, hey, we're here. And they're like, okay, cool, because because they just throw half the shit out. So it's like, okay, what do you want? And they used yeah. to make up sandwiches, blah, 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 with whatever they had left. And I used to go home and take like several subs home. Like I was like, damn. It's like, I, how can I did not know you earlier? I legit. It was a Tuesday, I think. They do the the cheaper Tuesdays or something. Because yeah. I sent Dad because he was going somewhere, and I was like, now what's oh, Subway? Take, I was like, take forty bucks, give me a couple of subs. So I I legit used the website. Wrote down what they had on there, like into two different subs. Yep. And then I gave him the list. I, I, he comes back and goes, "Oh, you got half your friggin' money back." I'm like, "Oh yeah, but there's two subs in the fridge." <laughs> I'm like, "There's two subs. What I what I ordered, but there's half the money." Yeah. <laughs> because it was a fucking Tuesday. It's half fucking price. Yeah, buy one get one free or something like that. Tuesdays. I was like, it was, no, it was only like. 16 bucks for two mm. footlongs? Yeah. Or something? So I was like, or, or 19 or something. I'm like, okay. Yeah, no, they do that. <laughs> and especially if you can do like, that's why a lot of people used to do the the, uh, the six inches. You get multiple flavors. Same as Domino's. So yeah, they're pretty good. But, yeah, but a six inch isn't enough. You have that and you're just like, I want. I wish I had another six inch. Like, mm. So you don't have just getting the one. If you don't eat it all, you put it in the fridge for later and eat yeah. that for later. Like, and you can. That's the best thing about it. But no, it was so good. Now not for thing too long, like a day or two. Not like longer. Like it wouldn't with anything. It gets all normal. soggy and... Yes. Things go off and stuff. You've got to be smart. Not really off because it's all... Um, no, but it's like how you normally... Maybe a few days. How but you like, normally do it. Like if you get your meat, you're like mm. your meat's got to only last for a couple of days and just, you, you know, you're going to be like yeah, typical I've got a like deli meat. It was a meatball one, which was meatballs good. I don't, I don't overload them somehow. Like they are just very basic. Like they're these little thin fucking subs that I like get. That, 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 that. It's like this whole. Like I've seen like stuff people having they're like fucking that wide. I'm like, why well, can't I have that? Yeah. Because they're a set rate. Mm. The stuff you put on there are free. Yeah. You're paying for the like the 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 the, the meat of it. Yeah. Like the tomatoes free, the fucking everything, everything else everything was part free. Of it. It's part of it is just when you want extra more of that, which you can say, I want extra servings of that, and you can pay extra yeah. for it. Which people but like, can't if do. You, you have one of everything and it's the same fucking price. Yeah. It's like, I just go, yeah, that little bit of that, little bit. Then it's like, this thing's so fucking scrawny. Yeah. Because you just go, you only want a little bit of it. You tell them just. I try and feel like I'm a, like, it's, they're, probably, they're probably thinking, what the fuck is the point of this? Barely anything on there. Yeah, because it's 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 mainly the meatballs, bit of cheese, jalapenos. I, I want to do it again. Do do one with the lot. Salt, pepper. That's what I might do. Like I I just say just 
the just the works on it, please. So make all, all the works. It because you can. You honestly can get all the cheeses. So what they'll do is the, what they do is actually like because you know they put like usually if it's a six inch. I thought it was one of each one, right? Yeah. Like, so what they do is basically what they can layer it out so you can get like in a pattern. So I think you should get six inch. There's three pieces of cheese and a foot long. It's like six pieces. So you can get mm, them to do like six or one, seven. Two, I think so. They do like one of each. So you go one, two, three, and it's the flavors across. They usually, um, when they do the meatballs, if you get them on there, they either put them on there, they either smush them, so they get they, they break the meatballs down, or you can get them to cut it so they can put it on. Then you get like your your rash of like your, your turkey mince, your ham, you get stuff like that. It's fucking Whatever good. else. Get them all on there, and you get a bit of servings of each, and they get all the sauces on there. Fuck, it's a party. Like, it's the most craziest fucking thing. Have you seen the fucking, what was it, like a 10 foot one? That's yeah. the one, like, they made across the whole bench this fucking humongous one. Fucking wall, but no, it's 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 fucking huge. It's sort of party, I think it was. And it's like they're fucking thick, like massive yeah. thick when you get everything on there. But it's great having all the sauces, all the toppings, all the all the meats. It's you just... go onto the website, man, and they got a fuck ton of stuff you can go through. Like, yeah. they have a oh, that's what it was. I had the meatballs and the pizza sub, yep. which was amazing. Like it was pepperoni and cheese. Oh, it was a pizza, pretty much. I'm like. Yeah. So I had the hot sauce on that too, Michael. Ooh, that was a bit spicy. Man, I see it's wild when you have all the sauces and things because you just don't realize all the sauces combined together and you get all these different tastes and you're like, it's the sour cream, there's a sweet chili, and there's like barbecue, and then tom- smoky, and then ranch sour and... cream ranch. Just like, <laughs> and then there's your like, vinaigrette. Yeah, fucking. It's just like, whoa, it's like a party because it's just everything works. Yeah, fuck, I might do that next time. Just I get a works. couple, the, the pizza and the meatball, and just say the works. Fuck yeah. it. Just get everything on there. What do you got to lose? Like, I'm not a picky eater. Like, I'll eat anything that's in that thing. Because the thing is, the way that Subway has, the things that they have, every combination works. Whatever yeah. you have, that's they, they work you, you, this out. You can you can have everything and it, it, it still tastes nice. Like That's exactly it. They've worked out that you can have any combination of those sauces, whether it's all of them together, or three specific ones, or two, or, you know, or six specific ones, all Ranch, those flavors would by itself. I wouldn't really mix that. But that's the thing, though. All those flavors work together. That's the thing. They've all designed it perfectly to work all together. Whatever combination you mixed, whether it's ranch and barbecue sauce or ranch and the fucking guacamole, you know, anything you go with, you know, whatever you choose, everything guacamole works. meatballs. Everything works together, and that's why they've done it. So whatever meat you choose, whether it's the turkey, the tuna, the meatballs, the chicken fillets, like the tender schnitzies or whatever, um, right. it all works. So whether you have the chicken schnitzel with the meatballs on top with How some... How have we gotten the food now? <laughs> I don't even know, but like, fucking, you can do any combination and guarantee you not... Everyone's going to get hungry just fucking listening and will, watching. It will work. 100%. Like... Any combination you go with, it will work. Yes. And that's the crazy part. Like it's it's it they've they've really thought it out. It's a really smart. That's business. how they survived so fucking long. Mm. So anyone can go with well, any combination of what they want. They can be like, oh, I want some tuna with some ham. Um, give us some old English on the freaking Italian herbs because that's what everyone loves: Italian herbs and cheeses, bread. I just go the um, normal like. I, I, you know, I everything go the guacamole rye. with a bit of ranch and. Uh, Holland. What's what's that fucking what's that spicy one? Oh, Chipotle. Oh. Chipotle. Chipotle and I think that's what I had on the pizza sub. <laughs> and like I said, that be fucking beautiful. You wouldn't think that. It sounds like, but it's be fucking beautiful. No matter what you do, they're all beautiful. Like, yeah, it's insane. You can't go wrong. Like, unless you don't have a taste or something, like you hate tuna or something, then it's going to be like, because you like, I don't like it. I mean, I wouldn't get a tuna sub in the first place. That just beats, that defeats the purpose of having Subway. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, you can, they have all that. You can just do that at home. Yeah. But, I but mean, the meatball be... sub, though, their meatballs are something I mean, else. Most, like... of the, most of that stuff you could do at home, realistically. It's just meatballs you couldn't really. Who's going to be like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook up some meatballs so I can make myself a sandwich? Like, ham, deli ham, you can just get that. Like, they've got the cheeses. Yeah, but also, like, like, their buns are worth it. Tuna. Like, it's... I still like tuna, though. You just have a tuna sandwich. Yeah. You know, now you made me want to have a Macca's breakfast with some popcorn chicken and a Subway 6 inch. Because a foot long would be too much. No, just go, just just go the full foot long. Dude, I'm having a five course meal right now. <laughs> I've only got three things, so I need two more things to fucking eat. Dave's noodles. Oh man. Dave's noodles. Have you have you just got that over there? What Danish noodles? 
Dave's noodles. Dave's noodles. We've got Cheng's noodles. Mm. Cheng's fried noodles, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Dave's noodles. It's like a noodle restaurant. Like, no. they're fucking amazing. Has not. They come in a little fucking little box. Yeah, like noodle which box. Which turns into a big plate when you open it. It's like noodle box. Yeah, it's like noodle box, but it's Dave's noodles. Owned by Dave. <laughs> Dave's noodles. I don't know. <laughs> Dave's noodles. <laughs> Dave's noodles. What? You said Dave's doodles. <laughs> yeah, they're Dave's doodles. I'm dying, man. <laughs> um, they're Dave's doodles. <laughs> Look, in the plate of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey guys, yeah, here's like, my noodles. They um cook it right in front of you. Like there's no hiding it. Like it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, hey, me. doodles just um, right there in front of you. <laughs> um, no, no, like legit, like you walk straight in. Yeah, you can see like the whole. The, the, there's no kitchen. It's like the kitchen is the counter. Oh, okay. Like, like you can literally oven. see them all cooking right behind the person who's serving you. Yep, that's cool. And you got someone who bags it all, boxes it up, like someone serving. You got like cooking, like. Uh. <laughs> you can't go over it, can you? you <laughs> uh, no, but like next time I go there, I'm gonna get one and just fucking I'm gonna put in the Discord of some shit. That's cool, yeah. Like they've got this menu's got like thirty different types of noodle. Oh, like it's crazy. They got soups, um, the udon, beef and black bean, fucking even the seafood one. Dave's seafood, amazing. Yeah, it's not going to be 10 bucks for a box, though. Like, it's crazy. Like, bad. it's fucking cheap. Like, decent serving. Well, when you open it, it can feed two people in one box. That's all right. That's pretty I found good. out. I could eat a whole box, but then you're like, well, then, I'm done for the next fucking 24 hours. <laughs> That's good. Nice feed. Oh, it is. It's so... Well, it's Asian food. Like, they give you a fuck ton of it. Yeah. They're so cheap somehow. Yeah, I don't I know. know how they make like things that cheap. Just it's cheap. like ten or twelve bucks for a box. Yeah, depends on the some are seventeen if they're like a soupy one, but like yep. Like you, you, you got your egg and they they crack an egg in there for you and everything. Like got yeah, you got your hard boiled egg. It's pretty well, soft boiled egg. Oh. That's crazy. And we have fucking turned into a food thing. I know. I was, I was just looking at my leg. That's healed up already. That's weird. Healed up? <laughs> so, I, I had a bruise on my leg. And it was it was like a, like a bit of a lump. And it was like a bruise. And it was there. And then, it basically faded away. And now it's gone. There's no lump. The bruise is gone. There's, a bit of fluid? Yeah, I know. Like, whether it tore a muscle or something. But, like, it's basically already healed up. Like That torn muscle wouldn't be done that fucking quick. Oh, my healing is fucking weird. Wolverine. And just my skin shit, but... Oh, that, not that quick. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, like, weird. It was just because it was bruised and shit, and it was, like, a fair lump, and it was itchy, and I'm like, Ugh. That's weird. And the bruise is gone, yeah. Oh, happened no. yesterday. It was there yesterday. Like, a little bit sore That's earlier. You... I mean, it's like, maybe a little bit sore still. Because it's because you need some Subway. It's like, yes, please! Subway. <laughs> oh... Man, we're nearly at the end of the fucking episode already. And I've got none of these fucking things already. Uh, what what do you got there? What is it? Is it really that important? But yeah, the game Gamescom happened. I mean, Gamescom <laughs> happened. I mean, we we've seen it. It's there on the internet. Anyone can look it up. Um, I just gonna I just listed what like six games or something. Um, yeah. some are pretty damn cool. Like there's a Dune game coming. Yes, I MMO that yeah. Open world yeah. MMO. I'm like that's dope. Coming to, like, next-gen PS5, Xbox, PC. Yep. I think there's a beta you can sign up to at www.doingthegame.com, I think it is. Yep. Go there and sign up, play the beta. Um, There's a game called Ravenbound. Which Ravenbound. Pretty, looks pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's an open-world roguelike. Mm-hmm. Um, you can wish list it on Steam. It's Scandinavian Folklore. Looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what it is still exactly. All they're showing is a bit of combat and stuff, but they're showing gameplay. 
Um, don't know when that comes out though, and there's no really window or anything. And um, I spoke to you about this sometime of the week. Um, the Lords of the Fallen have as a sequel to Lords of the Fallen. Yeah. Which is a Souls like. I don't. Is it a knight? Like it's a castle. It, it's a something. It's something. Like I've played it. I hated it. I died a lot. Um, but it's getting a sequel after like a decade. Yep. Um, coming for Steam, PS Five, and Xbox. I'm better than saying Xbox S and X. Just fucking say Xbox. Yeah. Um. Also, we've already discussed this before, but there's a new Tales from the Borderlands, which I'm not sold on because it looks like Borderlands, like actual Borderlands. Not Tales, yeah. Like, Tales had a distinct, like, it's like a... Look and style to it. Yeah, like, like it was a Telltale point, point click, thing. Point and click adventure kind of thing. Yeah, but this looks like it's like Borderlands 4 or some shit, like 3.5, 4... Well, I mean, it comes out in October 21st. Yep. I was out soon that it comes out just before COD and Gotham... No, the same day as Gotham Knights, actually, now. Because they got yep. moved up a week. Um, But it's made by Gearbox, not Telltale. So take your own guess at it. Yeah. Um, I also saw this. Um, It's a... um. I don't know what it really was. It was a sci-fi heist game. Yeah. Called Marauders. You had to escape. You had to go in, rob, and leave. I don't know what it is, really. The, the gameplay was happened so fucking quick. Eh. But sci-fi heist game with guns and teammates. Bounty. I want to see more. Um, it's in early access, October. Yep. So maybe we could play on that on stream. Does get some heist action. Early access, so get it while it's. No, I'm not gonna say while it's cheap because that's just a smack in the face. But like, get it early. Support the damn thing if it's any good. Yeah. <clears throat> um, my voice is nearly gone. Um, this is one that I really. Got excited for until I found out what the game actually was. It's um Killer Clowns from Outer Space, yeah. the game. Based off the movie. I was keen. It looked fucking so good until the gameplay happened. It's Dead by Daylight clone. Yeah, it's from the Friday the 13th devs. So it's like that. And she, you got like three killers or something. Three with all the people. Yeah, so it's I mean, three killers. It could be good, but I'm like, I'm over these games, man. Mm. Like, Killer Comes from Outer Space should be a single player narrative game. Mm. You should be killing the killer clowns. Yeah, you should be the not getting killed by the killer clowns. Not just your basic survive, solve the area puzzle, escape. Kind it of should thing. be a. Evil Within kind of game, like like third yeah. person, you're killing them, hiding from them, like trying to get them the fuck back to space and shit. Like, yeah. so much promise, considering it's pretty much a thing from the like, for the movie. It's like <sighs> it's like a sequel. I've 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 never seen the movie, but I've seen parts. Like, it looks fucking good. But, like, the game looked good than the gameplay. Yeah. Um, this is one that you saw, that Lies of P. Yep. The Pinocchio, um, saw bits of which that. I didn't know that Pinocchio wasn't what Disney made it. Like, Pinocchio was way different. Mm. Pinocchio is not a wooden boy, really. Oh, it depends on the narrative, but yeah. But, like, that's what Disney made it. Like... Mm. But Pinocchio, like, this is based on the books, I think. He's a puppet, yeah. Yeah, this is just a dude with massive weapons and... They've I don't know, I'm keen to see what the fuck it is, because it looks good. Mm. 
It's like a Souls game, kind of. Yeah. Kind of like Bloodborne, it looks like. Which is dope, because people want a sequel. This will be the closest thing they'll get to it. Yeah. But yeah, that comes out eventually. It's not even anywhere near release date, so... I've heard. Look, it's Pinocchio, like... <laughs> I got confused, I'm like... How's there a Soulsborn Pinocchio game? Also, Lions of P, like, who's who's Lion? Pinocchio Lion? I know. Lies, well, I mean, yeah, that's exactly it, because it's always about Pinocchio Tom. Lies of P, like... Lies of Pinocchio, because Pinocchio's Tom. Yeah, lies. unless that P something else, we probably don't even... Oh, yeah. Why not call it just Pin Lies of Pinocchio, or... Oh, no. <laughs> um, and... I'm keen. Dead Island 2. Yes. What we said last, well, what I said last week about the February 3rd supposed leak on Amazon and that is fucking real. Pre-orders went up. Yep. I pre-ordered the Steelbook one because why the fuck not? It's only 150 bucks. Not bad. Oh. Um, no statue or nothing though, sadly. Yeah. Which makes sense, but I just want the fucking Steelbook. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's 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 called the the Hella edition. So it's in L. It's it's in L. A. Yeah, that's funny. So so Hella, like it's like fuck's sake. Um. And yeah, February third was a real thing, which is wow. rare for a leak a week ahead, and no one confirmed or denied it. Mm. People just pre-ordered way way early. Yeah, I think it's still up too. I think there's unlimited stock at the moment. Like just they just taking the numbers. Yeah, which makes sense. I don't know but um, the quota they need to make. Maybe, but it's a lot of pre-orders. It's on. Be. It's on everything. Mm. Like you can know, order it on next gen, last gen. Well, not next gen. It's like current gen, last gen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm fucking keen. Like they got so much new improvements. There's a new thing now where they call it the flesh system, mm -hmm. which you can target individual body parts and shit now like before we just hit them. Like you can target specific things, burn them. You can punch <laughs> the gameplay had them punch through someone's face and rip out the back of their head through the. Jesus, oh, that looks dope. That looks wow. fucking. That looks dope. Like. Because it's a power someone had, like, you used your fist to beat him up. Yep, yep. You can... It looks fucking dope. I want it. Crazy. Want it. Crazy. Um, and I've shown Dan... Dan... Daz at this. The PS5 got a price increase. Mm-hmm. $7.99. To be, ex be expected. Not really a thing for consoles. It's usually down in price, not up. Yeah, it's weird. But could be to stop scalpers. Like, I think the price could be a bundle, though. Like, it could be bundled with a game or something. Yeah, well, it, it was a price change effective immediately. I haven't checked anywhere to see. Except for the US, because they well, had Japan. Do it. Not yet, not till next month for that. I think 23rd. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see who's actually abiding by that, though. Well, they so, have to. Yeah. They have to. Um, but it could be a bundled. It's only fifty bucks difference here, so it could be a game. Could not be a game. Oh, could be a controller or something. It's effective immediately. Like that's. Yeah, it could be anything. Interesting. Also, it depends if they stick to it. The amount of backlash they get, they might reverse it. <laughs> saying, like I said, there's a lot of places that just charge less anyway. So. Mm. But like, I reckon, I reckon they might take it, take it back, back to normal, yeah. very soon. I mean, I don't care about it. Tony, fifty fucking bucks. Who cares? Yeah. Tony from seven fifty to eight hundred or seven ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it everything's is. gone up. Fuel's gone up. So why not console, right? Well, it's <laughs> keeps going up. It's crazy. <laughs> All because of that fucking bullshit war. Oh, it's nonsense. I mean, this isn't because of that, I don't think. It's more of the chip shortages and stuff, but, um... Yeah. But, eh. 
People do want them still because they're still fucking buying them even though they've oh, gone gotcha. up in price. Oh, God, yeah. Like, they just... the If you want one, you don't care about it. Like, yeah. you don't care the price went up. To be quite fucking honest. Like, as long as you can get one, you're fucking getting one. That's exactly it. Um, also, I read today, or so I saw, that EA's up for sale. EA? And Amazon was... They got rumoured to buy it. Oh. And then the... Then, like, a, a few hours later, they shut it down. I was like... Then they re- they took back what they said. It's like, no, then no, then not. Interesting. Uh, apparently, they want $40 billion. Sheesh. The EA, like, $40 billion. I'm like, Sony, please fucking buy them. You yeah. don't want Apple, Amazon, or Disney to have it. That's exactly it. And Microsoft can't do it. Like, they just can't. <laughs> Um, so the only one left is Sony. Mm. Or unless they say independent. Yeah. But I'm thinking Sony do get them and do what they did to Bungie. Keep yeah. them, like... Keep them under them, but, like, do their own thing still. Mm. Just, they take all the... They take all the money back. Yeah. Like, they can fund them, but, like... Oh. They don't really tell them what to do, per se. Like, game-wise. That's, that's, that's just... Exactly it. Mm. Partnership, which is a smart thing. Keep it all still third party and stuff. I mean, still have your exclusives. Just make them like a whole new exclusive, like a whole new IP. Yeah, because there's the thing. EA has five hundred licensed IPs, and they make the same like few every fucking time. Yeah, sports, Battlefield, Need for Speed, out of five hundred, or something like that. Like, give us more Mass Effect and shit. Yeah, there's so many things that they could be doing. I mean, Mass Effect already been worked on by Bun. Uh, I say Bungie <laughs> by Bioware. Yeah. Like, there's that that Mass Effect Five or whatever the fuck it is. We've seen nothing since that fucking CGI thing, though. Uh-huh. That's we'll never finished any of Mass Effects. Yeah. Oh god. I heard the third one's bad because of the ending, so I just no, never fucking they're, played they're, them. They're good games. They're good games. I tell you that. No, but they actually they fixed the third ending with that re- the trilogy though. Yeah, they added a different ending thing to it or whatever it was. They finally did what they should have done. It's still a choice, but it's yeah. Yeah, everyone hated it though. It's like, huh? Ah. <laughs> and apparently, Mass Effect Andromeda is not a bad game. It's just bugs. Like, bugs... People overreact, man. Yeah, exactly the same. People like, just... I didn't think it looked bad. It's just... Who just they're not even them? game-breaking bugs. They're just, like, facial glitches and shit. Like... <laughs> that can happen to any game. Yeah. Look at Assassin's Creed Unity. No one yep. played that because it was a buggy mess. No, <clears throat> fucking look at it. It's one of the fucking best. Yep. Like, yeah. just play it. Shut the fuck up. Play well, things... If you if if you bought it, if it's buggy, don't play it. Play it when it's patched. Like Cyberpunk. Mm. Although that's still pretty fucked. But um I just can't believe trophies don't carry over. Won't talk about that. Um also the Witcher got delayed. Fucking Witcher 3 next gen. I'm like Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get nothing good. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming. No, there's not. It's getting fucking delayed. <laughs> I was like, there's plenty of other stuff coming though. Resident Evil got cancelled. Think fuck. TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the TV show, but like, I think everyone knew what I was gonna mean by that. That cringy woke fucking show. I. I was going to watch it, but oh, not now. After Netflix fucking pulled it. And apparently, Netflix are making a Bioshock fucking TV show. Yes. And i got no hope in that, because look what they did to Resident Evil and other shit. The only thing good they've done is Witcher. Fingers crossed. Well, that is Witcher quality, not like... Yeah, yeah I would 
someone on I found out through Instagram. I'm like, I've seen their story. I'm like, I was like, oh no, not Netflix. <laughs> I was like, Amazon. I'd have more hope in for anything because they done like look at the boys on that. They know how to do good fucking shows. Half the Amazon shows are good. Yeah, um, exactly. Most of actually probably eighty percent. They got yeah. Those things. I just don't get why Netflix keep dropping the fucking ball, man. People are leaving and they just don't give a shit. Like, they yeah. keep pumping out fucking trash. Honestly, yeah. I'm happy I don't pay for it. That's those things. I'm happy I don't pay for it because I probably wouldn't have it. Yeah. Like, I don't even watch The Witcher. I haven't even seen the second season of The Witcher yet. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I had it for. Yeah. <laughs> But like that. also, next week, the Rings of Power. Rings of Power. I think it's. What day is that? That's before the next episode of the potty. So I will see if they've done the full season in one go or it's just an episode. But yeah. We can definitely talk about it next week. Yeah. Because I'm so fucking excited. I see Gandalf's in there. Mm, that's actually true, yeah, yeah. He got he got rumoured, same as Legolas and shit. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I think he was alive then. Sauron? Was Sauron back then? Uh, I don't think he was, to be fair. He I didn't he didn't have the I ring anyway remember. if he did. Honestly, I can't remember. Because <laughs> it's not long before Lord of the Rings that happened. I think it's meant to be the origin for everyone. Everyone like Gandalf, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, everyone wow. old. Wasn't it? Wasn't what's wasn't Aragon like a fucking old person? Really? Didn't he live for a long ass time? Something like that, yeah. Did fucking Viggo Mortensen back in there as a fucking Arag Aragon? Like fuck, <laughs> as a young one, because <laughs> he was pretty old in the in the Lord of the Rings. Like he was in his forties or fifties. Yeah. That that character like, and then he lived till he was old. But um, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But I'm gonna stop fucking just rambling now. Yes. Because I'm just fucking I can do it all fucking night. Um. Anything, Dad? Does anything, Dad? No, not really. No, that's it. Yeah, so you're sitting with your eyes shut for ages. <laughs> oh, I just let you talk, and I'm just like thinking, I'm like, yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Like, oh, I know that um, thing, and then that one's that thing. It's like, yeah. But, thank you, Beards and Beardettes, for joining us on this very random fucking episode. Yeah. A lot of food talk, so if you get hungry, you can't blame us. It's not our fault, we'll just go get something to eat. Yeah, you get your Subway, Macca's, pizza, fucking whatever it is. Um, but thank you for watching, listening. As always, we have been Dale and Jim, and we'll catch you guys next week. Bye. Popcorn. <gasps> Popcorn. <laughs> it's so fucking. <laughs>